Well, DePaul students are rallying behind me in the quad. They have been there for hours doing such. This is, they say, that they want their demands yet made, and they are not going to be going anywhere until they get what they want. This morning, DePaul University students launched their own encampment in the quad of the school's Lincoln Park campus, joining other campuses across the country protesting the Israel-Hamas war in Gaza. This is actually a testament to the power of the people and actually the number of people that are in support of Palestine and want to show up and support actions like these. The action began just after 10 o'clock this morning. By noon, several dozen tents had been quickly set up along with food and supplies. Members of the DePaul University Divestment Coalition Encampment have issued a list of demands calling on the university's administration to join the city of Chicago in support of a ceasefire and also cutting financial ties with Israel, among other things. These are demands that we have constantly brought up to administration and DePaul administration. So these aren't, these demands are not new. The DePaul student protest comes as hundreds of University of Chicago students establish their own encampment and as five days of tent occupation at Northwestern University's Evanston campus comes to an end. Protests there will continue. I mean, you can't fight fire with fire. I mean, it's got to stop. It's, it's just hurting the, the kids. It's just hurting the learning. DePaul's Office of the President emailed students and issued a statement that reads in part, while tents and unpermitted structures on DePaul's property violate a variety of university policies, we invite the members of our university community who are protesting to discuss with us how to peacefully express themselves. We hope to establish a dialogue with the DePaul community members who are leading the protest. And while the path forward is being sought, some students hope the protest remain peaceful. I guess I'm just a little afraid that it might get out of hand and not because of these students per se, but because of the community or the police or the school. So far, everything does remain peaceful, and the university spokesperson says they are still trying to establish a dialogue with the protesting students to come to some sort of resolve. Watch breaking news on YouTube. Subscribe to ABC7 Chicago Eyewitness News.